everyone this is Kenny from Flytime RC going to remaiden this plane so yesterday I flew it um, kind of in its stock settings uh, with the motor facing straight and then also I didn't have it uh, painted or taped up so um, after after I flew yesterday I made some adjustments to it uh, to the safe mode and then also the AS3X so I have it pretty well tuned although Today now this thing is about 100 grams heavier so that's going to change the flight characteristics. I also put on a new prop so yesterday I was running the 7x6 which is a pretty fast prop um, and this did well although I was only able to run it about 40% and then it would start going up I think because of the angle of the motor. So today I have a down angle of probably 10 degrees. It's kind of steep but after watching this thing fly yesterday and how quickly it would go up at at less than half throttle. I decided I need a pretty heavy uh, down angle. And then also I changed the prop to an eight by four. So a little aggressive, a little less aggressive, but also a bigger diameter. Um, after flying yesterday and how well this thing flew slow, I kind of really enjoyed that. And I want to try to maybe make this an FPV plane. So I'm trying to try a couple different props and see how this does. Um, with it weighing an extra hundred grams, I'm hoping that it flies just as good as yesterday. That is a pretty big, weight adjustment so I think I'm gonna basically have to retune everything so I'm gonna start flying the plane in safe mode and then once I get it up and kind of get a feel for it I'll put it back into AS3X and do some tuning and trimming and see how it flies all right let's see how this thing does Tell it definitely flies good still. Oh yeah, it flies flat now too. So that was a quick uh, hit of the throttle and it's flying flat. So let's go ahead and take it out of shape. Okay, I can tell already that it's uh it's flying really good. I can tell that I'm gonna have to do some trimming, so um going to take it out of safe mode and try to control it and do some trimming. I can tell already though that it's a banking a little bit to the left. Okay, there we go. Now it's, it's still banking a little bit to the left. at about 30% throttle, so really low throttle. It still flies pretty slow. That 8-inch uh, that prop definitely does good. You need a lot less throttle to, to keep this thing going. Alright, let's uh, do a quick full throttle to see what she does. That was cool. So it still, it still banks up pretty good, and gonna have to figure out why because I have a lot of down angle so that's kind of crazy that it goes up so quickly but otherwise this thing flies like a dream so I just had to do a little bit of tuning it does tilt to the left but I, I trimmed it over to the right and it seems to do pretty good Let's do a quick fly by here kind of flying slow I haven't tried to fly it upside down yet. We might try that in this video. It just flies really good. I'm just so happy with this thing. Pretty, pretty happy with it for a first try. I think when I bring this thing up and do a couple of things with it. Hopefully we can this in the camera. I know it's a little thumbs out. Hard to see. 
I think I'll, I'll bring it over and I'll do a couple more rolls over here. Here we go. Rolling it. Oh yeah. Let's uh, let's see if I can fly this thing upside down. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it around because I know the sun's kind of in our eyes right here. So let's see if we can fly this thing upside down. Let's try this really quick. Oh yeah, I can tell already that it doesn't have the elevator authority to fly upside down. As soon as I got it upside down, it wanted to, to dive down. I didn't have the authority, the elevator authority, to keep it going. It might have done it if it was a little higher throttle, but I just don't think that this is going to be a good upside down fly, which is fine. That's not really what I made it for. I actually kind of built this one for speed. Uh, and we're flying it slow. I'm going to try another uh, full speed pass. I'm going to bring it around again because I'm kind of trying to keep the camera out of the sun. It's kind of mid-November right now and it's just like so perfect to fly. Okay, I'm going to bring it around and ramp up the speed. Here we go. Full throttle. Oh, wow. I, I don't know if we caught that in the video, but I could hear the elevator's fluttering. <laughs> that, that was a little scary. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that was, if that was from the speed or if that was from the prop wash, but let's see if it'll do it again. Uh, I didn't run it full throttle. No, it, it, uh, the tail vibrated a little bit. And I don't know what that was. It could be the, the connections on the servos. It, it only did it that one time. So I'm not really sure what that was. A little worrisome though. I don't want to lose my elevator in the middle of flight. But man, I am happy with this. This thing does good. It's still going up. And maybe that could be a uh, slightly tail heavy. Maybe that's why. Uh, it's angling up just a little bit. I could also do a little trimming too. Um, I did have to do a little down elevator yesterday, so let's try that. Okay, there we go. I did a little down elevator and I was flying a little flatter. So I'll just bring it over. So that's... I was flying no hand. That's good. Really happy with this plane. Ooh. I think that this could be a decent FTB plane. Although, uh, I do need to do several more flights to figure out exactly our battery time. I have it set for five minutes. Um, that's just kind of based off of the flight times that I had with the same motor setup and uh, similar weight airplane that I had all the, all the electronics in. Um, but yesterday with the uh, 7x6 prop, I was basically flying below 50% the whole time. And I got uh, about 11 or 12 minutes out of it. And then I stopped. And I think uh, after I got home, I was checking the batteries and I still had about 30, 30 or 40% uh, on one of the batteries. And I think if I take it easy, I could easily get 12, maybe 15 minutes of flight time out of this. Obviously, if I'm doing a bunch of full throttle runs, that does cut it down a little bit, but also running a larger prop, so I know that does uh, take a little bit more power to run. But I'm pretty happy with this so far. I think this prop is a good choice. Yeah, it's cool seeing that thing shining in the sun. Oh, something I wanted to do. So yesterday, I um, I actually took it out of the throttle completely, and I was trying to see how long we could fly. So we got it up a couple hundred feet. Let's go ahead and cut throttle completely, and just see how well this thing does. So see how long it'll fly before I have to give it some throttle. 
so I am giving it a good amount of up elevator. Okay, there's some throttle. Okay, so it, it does come down fairly quickly, but it comes down really nicely. I, I think it has a relatively low stall speed. Um, let's see. We do a really slow flight over our heads here. We can kind of get a good idea how slow that thing is going. It's kind of crazy how slow it goes. It's got a really wide uh, flight envelope, and it'll fly pretty slow. Even for adding the extra weight, I feel like it flies pretty similarly as like it did yesterday. And it still goes pretty fast. Let's do a quick speed run here. Out of the throttle completely and just drifting. He does good. <laughs> so he did all that with no throttle, just just falling out of the sky. Okay, we can do a couple more rolls here. Really happy with the performance of this plane. Considering it's my first time doing a V-tail and I kind of just threw it together, pretty happy with it. I think I'll definitely do another plane like this again, but I'll put a lot more thought into it. Um, maybe a bigger wingspan, something that can stay up in the air a little longer without throttle, and uh, maybe build, build a purpose-built FTV plane. This, I think, is a good, a good start. So I've been flying this um, out of safe the entire time. I'm just using safe to get it up in the air, uh, which is really helpful. And um, so this thing's just doing great. I'm really happy with it. I have, um, it's set on high rates right now at 125% and then also 40% uh, expo. So it's got a, a good amount of expo, but it just makes it smooth. I feel like the angle we got on the motor is just about right. We have been flying for, I think we've been flying for 10 minutes. 12. 12 minutes. Wow, that's freaking awesome. And I think a lot of that's due to just a low throttle. Let's, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and blind ourselves with that sun. Let's go ahead and bring it in for a landing because I am not certain on how much time we have left. So let's go ahead and cut the throttle, bring it in for hopefully a relatively smooth landing. Look at that. I think that's a pretty successful flight.